Lacerate. Eject. Operation. Channel intro. Hello fellow YouTubers, Larry WC Stop Motioner here. Welcome to viewers new and old, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Studio Series 8607, Leader Class, Dinobot Slag, and Daniel Witwicky. Already taken him out. This guy was hard to find for a little while, but I eventually found him and I'm very happy. I got him and he's pretty cool. Now I'm kind of bummed that you know, they actually show Daniel's face in the exosuit right there on the picture, but it ain't like that in the final product. So the side of the box right here, there he is in robot mode and dino mode. There's Daniel. It says Dinobot Slag excuses himself as he stomps over a crushed Quint Quintesson prosecutor. Backdrop included. Let's see if I can remember to talk about it this time. It says Mockery of Justice. There he is right there on the side again. So without further ado, Let's get on to the review. Okay, so here we have Slag with Daniel riding on him. And somehow, Daniel managed to be a lot worse than Wheelie. Because at least Wheelie did have some more articulation, like in the waist and the head and that kind of thing. He had more detail. This guy is just bare necessity, and even then, like, seriously, would it have killed him to show his face? So, he sucks. But Slag is awesome. This figure is really cool. You can see his Triceratops mode, and it looks really good. It looks very accurate. Now, yes, you do have his gun here on the back that, you know, sticks out a little bit because it's not the same color as the tail, but eh, what can you do? The sculpted and details on them are very nice. The color scheme works. Got his bottom jaw that opens. You can stick a blast effect right there, should you so desire. Got his Autobot symbol right there. His horns are actually made to come off for some reason. That's kind of an odd design choice, really. Articulation, you do get a ratchet right here they can go out to the side like this and you do get rotation right here and you do get a double hinge right here and I think that's about it right there back of the legs can I mean they're the back legs are designed to do a full 360 you can move this just because of the transformation though and the back can move the back feet can move so I mean, articulation, I mean, it's what I would expect from this kind of design. So here he is with his previous Dinobot Grimlock. Not previous, his fellow Dinobot Grimlock. And I think these two look amazing together. You can just kind of tell they're, they're part of a team. It's really a shame we're not getting a Dinobot in the next wave, but... We are getting Sludge sometime this year, apparently. And hopefully Swoop and Snarl are on the way soon. Now this guy is a lot smaller than Grimlock, but that's in Dino Mode. When we get to Robot Mode, they're about the same size. Spoiler alert. Now, biggest drawback for me is that this does not really lock, and you just kind of push it into place, and that's kind of a shame. All in all though, that's my biggest complaint with the dino mode. Otherwise, I think it's really nice. So I think that pretty much covers it. So now we can get on to the transformation. 
Now his transformation actually has quite a bit more going on than Grimlock had. So to begin, just gonna go in and remove the gun. You don't really have to, but that's what I like to do with it. All right, fold this up in and this like this. All right, then just pull these out. Now this is really quite a pain when going from robot to dino mode is getting these tabs to line up with these slots in there. It's doable, but it's kind of annoying. So just pull this section out, fold this up like that for now. Then just fold the knees like this, just kind of bend them. Get them in the position that you want. Then rotate them at the waist. Come right here, pull this up, and just kind of tilt the foot because otherwise it's gonna kind of collide with it. Pull this in, fold this down, then fold the foot back. Do the same thing on this side. Like that. All right, tilt the camera up even more. Fold this down and just kind of untab this right here Then fold this section back, fold this down. Do the same thing on this side and just fold this down all the way and then fold his head up. You just kind of, whoops, just kind of push this into place then just fold the arms down. Now the fist can be kind of a tr kind of tricky to get out. And of course, again, it proves me wrong. Rotate them at the fist. Then just come right here. And just kind of line this up. It doesn't tab in super well, which is kind of annoying and the tail doesn't really lock into place, so yeah, that's kind of a bummer. All right, come on, why aren't you folding up? Okay, there we go. But when you're done, there's Slag in his really cool looking robot mode. And I mean, I really like this robot mode. Okay, so just to get it over with, there's a port right here, and there's a tab on Daniel's leg, so you can just ride on him. This is just honestly one of the dumbest things ever. These characters like never interacted at all. So Daniel is garbage, but this figure is awesome. Like I said, head sculpt has very nice glossy finish. Now some people were giving this criticism for not having enough paint, but I mean, that's accurate. I think there should be some white on the sides of the head right here, but otherwise it looks good. And it does have nice sculpted details just all around, like a lot of these modern figures. Again, biggest problem is just this back part having a hard time tabbing in. It's not really going to, like, just come undone on its own, but just be careful when you're messing with it. Like this. See, I just moved the arm up, and this came undone. You can put the gun in his hand, and... The gun is really nice. I really like it. It's got a pretty good color. Alright, so comparison, here he is with fellow Dinobot Grimlock. And while this guy was a lot smaller in Dino mode, you know, they're roughly the same size in robot mode. Grimlock, at least at the robot head, is a little bit taller, but Slag does edge him out with the Triceratops head. Like I said, these guys look amazing together, and I'm so looking forward to seeing how the rest of the Dinobots are going to turn out. Because they're just, they're all going to look amazing together. And just based on how awesome these two figures are, I'm, I'm all for it, because, you know, I'm hoping the Dinobots get better with each, each figure. Or at least are awesome, because... I have to say, I do still like Grimlock just a little bit more. No. 
talk about that more at the end of the video. So for Slag's articulation, he does have head articulation. It's, it is on a ball joint, but there's also the transformation joint. It's a little hard to get to though. He can fold the Triceratops head back a little bit to get some clearance to move it around. So that's pretty nice. I do kind of wish he didn't have to do that, but you know, it's the nature of the design. Eh, I can, I can kind of forgive it. Shoulders can do a full 360. They can go up like this, and that looks nice and filled in. You do get a bicep rotation. Again, you do get a double hinge elbow. You do get wrist articulation, and I mean, if you want, for some reason, you can partially transform it. You get a waist swivel. Oops, careful to not to undo that. So you do get a waist swivel. You get very nice ratcheted hips. And legs can kick forward and back pretty far. They can go out to the side that far. You do get a thigh swivel. Then because of the transformation, you do get a double hinge knee. So you can go like this. And then even more. So that's pretty nice. Again, though, the ratchets really kind of cause this to come undone so that's really unfortunate and you do get ankle tilts so articulation is really nice can't find a whole lot to complain about with it all right then of course the part that i almost always forget in these reviews the backdrop which is the same as grimlocks so not a whole lot to talk about but he looks cool on it then again, I can't keep these on the displays. They take up way too much room. A nice Autobot symbol right there. So, in all honesty, I think that pretty much covers this figure. So I'll go ahead and stick them on my display. Okay, so there's Slag with my growing Dinobot display, which right now just has some Ninjago sets on it. So, I said earlier that I like Grimlock a little bit better, and while I do appreciate that Slag does have a lot more going on with the transformation, I like how simple Grimlock's is. His has a lot more satisfying clicks, like things just click into place. While Slag's has some things that are a little annoying and require some force to get into place, which is it's still not a bad transformation. I Again, I appreciate it trying to have more going on, but again, I, I think Grimlock used the simplicity to great effect. Still, I think Slag is an amazing figure. The Triceratops mode is really good. I love how he mass shifts. That's really cool. The transformation, it's involved, but it's still pretty fun. And robot mode is really good. The articulation is great. The paint job is good, and the sculpted in details are really nice. So, I do still highly recommend this guy if you can find him. He's very awesome, and he's my second favorite of 86 Wave 2. And the only reason he's second, again, isn't really anything he did wrong. It's just everything that number one did right. And hopefully, that review will be tomorrow. So, that's my review for Transformers Studio Series 86 07 Leader Class Slag. If you like this video, please be sure to like comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.